the number one reason why notaries miss out on opportunities is because they do, they do not pick up their phone. I'm not going to tell you the amount of times that I hear title agencies tell me that they try to call a notary, but the notary never pick up their phone. All right. But I think the reason is because we're always in closings or we're always out or we're always driving, we're always on the road and we can't pick up the phone because we don't recognize a number and we don't want to stop what we're doing, but we can stop that right now. What if I told you we can create an 100% automated AI assistant that'll pick up your phone for you 24 by seven. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do this today. Again, it's 100% automated. I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna start with Synthflow.ai. Synthflow.ai, you could imagine a phone system and AI married each other, it'll be called Synthflow, okay? So we, we're able to put prompts into Synthflow and they'll convert that prompt into a phone system for you, okay? It has the ability to make inbound calls, outbound calls, it's a very powerful, powerful, powerful system. And um, I was so, you know, so kind enough to sponsor this show. So use the use the link below to support your boy. All right. Um, and we got to just dive right into it. So actually, before we dive right into it, let's look at the entire scenario. OK, so we use Synthflow as our phone system. Once a call comes into Synthflow, Synthflow sends that um, that call data using Zapier. I use it Zapier and it's we uh, summarize the call and we send it over to a Google Sheet. Uh, once it's in the Google Sheet, we go back over to make, which uh, we primarily, primarily like to use. Um, we go over to make, make is looking for any um, data that changes in in, a, in that Excel spreadsheet. And then it's gonna uh, look at the conversation, extract the name of the caller, extract the intent of the caller. Um, then it'll categorize the call um, because I'll, I'll show you later that, you know, I have a different, from, from my system personally, we have different types of calls that come in. Um, and then we want to kind of categorize what type of call that came in. Then we want to ask AI for improvement. How can we improve the call? Okay. Um, you will notice that whenever you make a phone call, you, they always say that this call is recorded for quality assurance. Um, that's because they want to look back at the data and see what they could have done better. Uh, we kind of want to replicate that by improving and seeing what we could have done better with the call. And then we could improve our prompt in the future. Once um, that data is gathered, we'll throw it back to the Excel spreadsheet so that we can have it. All right. So that's just a basic overview of what you can do with this. But then, you know, it goes a lot deeper, right? <laughs> for me personally, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use for my business. Um, so after the call goes back into the um, Google uh, spreadsheet, then I want to get some, I want to pull some more information from the call, right? So that way I can analyze it. Like I mentioned earlier, I received different types of calls. I receive a call from a title agency looking to do business with me. Then I'll receive a call from my client who's a title agency who has a question. Then I'll get another call from a notary who's at the closing table, who has issues with the document. Then I have another call from a notary, a past notary who never received a check. And then I'll have a call from another notary who's looking to join the team. So I have different scenarios that will come in. So I want AI to look and see, okay, what, what was this call about? And let's take the appropriate action. OK, so my router prep, if we zoom in a little bit, this router prep is actually going to go go to the router and go to the appropriate uh, section. So this this top section, this top section is where it's looking for a title agency prospect. So someone that's a new, new, new to um, my company and is looking to do business with me, it'll uh, again, pull some additional information Then it'll send, send an alert to my Slack channel. And then it'll send an email to the prospect saying, let them confirming them that we did receive the call and then different follow-up steps. And then it'll send it over to my CRM. I use um, Apollo as a CRM and it's pretty powerful. I need to do a separate video on Apollo. This is pretty robust and powerful. I'll do that in the future. Um, and another call that comes in again, a title agency may, may, may um, call one of my clients and they may have a question. So I want to then filter that out and then I have notary inquiries. So I'm building upon this, but I just wanted to share this with you as, as we grow. So if you're part of the community in the school, um, I'm go, all you have to do is, um, hit more and hit import because I'm going to export this scenario. So that way you don't have to build it all yourself, but don't worry in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build this step-by-step -step. and let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create your account with Synflow. Synflow is free to use um, or at least free to start. 
um, to, to log in and, and start playing around with the features before you actually have to um, sign up for a plan. The plans, I believe, start at $29 a month and it goes up from there. $29 a month should be more than enough to cover basic phone functionality. And in the show notes, I'm going to include for every all the software that I uh, talk about today, I'm going to include all the pricing so that way you, you can have a budgetary number and you can look and see is it even worth moving forward with. But I think personally it's worth it because if you were to hire someone in your company, in your business to answer the phone for you 24 seven, I mean, how much is that going to cost you? Right. Um, and this system is more than worth it. It's more than worth it. Okay. So before we, we jump into the assistance, which we, where we need to start, I just want to show you the integrations. Okay. So the integrations, the, what you can integrate with, uh, Synflow is, uh, all these systems. So, so, uh, Twilio. Twilio is what we're going to use um, to get a phone number. And I, I recommend that you get a local phone number um, to your business because it's shown that the conversions for local phone numbers is, is, is a lot higher than if you were to get an 800 number. 11 Labs. 11 Labs is what's used for the voice, um, for the different types of voices you can use. Okay. You could even clone your own voice if you like. And, um, <laughs> I, I, I did a test on this and we'll play with it. I'll show you my voice um, in a minute. Um, and we'll, we'll discuss that. Zapier is is what's used to do the automation piece. Um, if you have Go High Level, you can connect your Go High Level account here. What I can't wait for is for Make to be included in their um, integrations. Hence the reason why in this uh, demo, I'm going to show you a little bit of Zapier. I prefer not to use Zapier. That's not my favorite, but um, Simflow has an integration with Zapier, so we have to use them until the make integration is um, up and running. Okay, so I want to show you that before we before we begin. So when you start with Simflow, you start with an assistant. Um, an assistant is basically your phone attendant. You can create inbound assistants, you can create outbound assistants, but in, in, in this case, we're going to create uh, an, in, uh, an inbound assistant. So basically the way it's going to work, someone is calling us. So that's inbound. Okay. So let's open it up here. Um, once you uh, create an assistant, um, once you, once you create an assistant, you can go to, let's see, configure. Um, sorry. All right. Apologies. Go to the prompt. So once you, once you create a new assistant, it'll start off on the prompt. Uh, the prompt that I created is, um, I used, um, Claude to create my prompt. And this is the prompt that I use. I said, assume the role of a phone script writer for Synflow. I need for you to draft an inbound prompt, an inbound phone prompt to be used in Synflow for my company, 24 seven closures, the contacts. 24 seven closes a national notary signing service company that serves uh, title agencies by scheduling certified notary to real estate closings, our guarantee. And I get into it there. So then, um, I gave a little bit of context as to what my company does and, and, and what type of quality we receive. So I said, um, like I mentioned earlier, we get calls from title agency inquiries. We get uh, calls from notary inquiries. Uh, and, we, and, and, we, and we get calls from other, from notaries that's at a closing table that may have an issue. Your is going to be a little bit different. So you're going to want to um, cater your script to your business. If you're a single um, notary signing agent, you want to put that there, you know, assume the role of a phone script. I'm writing for Synflow and you give them the context. You can tell them the name of your, your, your company or if it's your name and you just tell them like, you know what you do. And then, and then, and then um, Claude, Claude.ai is going to um, come up with a script for you. So then you, I had to tweak the script as I went and it, but it's a good foundation. It did about 95% of the work for me, but then I went in and I made it some tweaks. So if we go back over this, uh, Simflow, this is what I, this is what I came up with. So I came up with my company overview and I gave it the different options that they should, that, that Simflow should expect when a call comes inbound. Okay. Uh, another thing that we also put here is this real time booking. So if you, if you can set it up so that th this can go directly to, to your calendar. So let's see if we go to edit here, you can set it up. So that way it can go directly to your calendar. What do I have in here? Sorry. I already have this set up. So, um, I apologize here, but once you go in, once you go in to real time booking, it gives you an option to go to, uh, to connect to a calendar, um, option. I think it's cal, um, cal.com. 
and the other option will be to to go to go high level and that's what i, I would that's what i use because i have a, a go high level um account um that i use so i have it connected to go up my go high level calendar so that way it'll automatically um come to me um you can set up sms if you wanted to text you um when when uh or text the prospect rather and you can do a live interaction so if you want to um come up with like several questions and you can provide answers and things like that so if you want to dive deep into the call experience you can do that here as well once you have this set up the next thing to do is you have to go over to um you have to go over to twilio twilio um is a system that allows you to get phone numbers so it has national numbers and also toll-free numbers that you can get um so i would recommend again to get a local number um to your to your area so that way you're caught your um so that way you'll have a higher uh conversion rate when it comes to people calling you and things like that so all right so once you log in here um you can create your phone number i believe there's the there's a there's the upfront cost of um just bought, purchasing the phone number so it's just a few dollars um, it's just a few dollars to um, purchase the phone number, but then um, once you purchase once you purchase the phone number, then you pay per minute. So it's not really an ex expensive, and you pay like a fraction of a cent per minute. So it's, it's it's really it's really reasonable. But one thing that we are gonna need that once you, once you have your number and everything established, and to do that you just go to phone numbers. Uh, if you go to manage, I believe, um, say buy a number. Um, once you go to buy a number and your screen will probably default here. Um, once you say buy a number, you could just choose an area code. So say like 908 and hit search. And once you hit search, you just find a number that you like. You hit purchase and see the purchase for it is $1.15. So you pay that up front and then that number is your number. Okay. Uh, once you have the number, it has the ability to do voice, text, faxing, uh, MMS. It has all the features that you need. And once you have a number, um, you just have to go back to um, this integration screen. Where is it? I don't know where I think. Sorry, <laughs> found the screen I was looking for. It's too, too many, too many clicks. All right. So once this is the information you're gonna need. You're gonna need your um, account SID and you're gonna need your authentication token. This is how Synflow is gonna connect with your phone number, and it's gonna um, request this information so that way you can. Um, communicate so what you will have to do is if you go back to integrations once you go to integrations you could you connect on um, um twilio then you're going to put that sid and that authentication token here hit save and then it connects okay um same thing for 11 labs you have to uh, connect to 11 labs and once you are on 11 labs you're going to need the api key um 11 labs is free to sign up for but i believe with this um with uh, Simflow, you automatically have access to 11 labs so you can go in and then you can um, add your API key there as well. Um, the third thing you're going to need is uh, Zapier um, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But let's go back to assistance. I want to I, mean, I want to show you the different voices, right? So once we go here, go to configure. Um, let's see. So the different voices. So if we hit on uh, this little pencil button here, right? And you'll be able to see the different voices here. Um, I wanted to, the voice that I have for my phone voice is Karen. Hey, it's a great day at 24 seven closers. How can I serve you today? Okay, perfect. So um, you can, you can, you could carry an, an initial greeting um, and that greeting is in the, um, the prompt. You'll set up a greeting, um, but I have my voice here. So with 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 um, Eleven Labs, you have the option to do. There's two different options for your voice. You can do like a quick, uh, instant voice where you just upload like maybe one or two videos that you've done. That's just short clips, and it'll automatically grab your voice. And then there's this other procedure where you put hours, so say like an hour or two of your video recordings. Um, you could just export audio from different videos that you've done and send it to them. And what it, they'll take about six hours. 
the AI will take about six hours to analyze your voice and it's guaranteed to be almost identical to your voice. But let's see, this is, this is the voice that I did with, I, I just gave it a quick sample of my voice and it was pretty impressive. Hey, it's a great day at 24 seven closers. How can I serve you today? So it's, I would say it's 50% of my voice. It's not necessarily my voice, but it's, it kind of mimicked my voice when I, I was impressed by Hey, first, it's a great day at 24 seven closers. How can I serve you today? All right. Awesome. And one um, AI model, you could choose the different AI models that you would like to use on uh, the default. The default AI model is um, Synflow LLM, LLM, but I, I use the GPT, GPT for 4 0 um, because that's because because it's all about voice and all about voice recognition. So I wanted to use that model um, for this exercise. OK. All right. So once we have all of this, once we have all of this set up, um, and once a call comes in again, it, it goes directly to Zapier and then it goes to the Google spreadsheet. Okay. So one thing we need to do first is, um, go through this real quick. So, so once you go into Zapier, let's just go into a new instance, right? You set up a trigger in Zapier. The trigger is going to be synflow.ai. Uh, let's see, let's go back here. This synflow.ai, we could choose an event. So the first time you do this, you're going to have to call and send it to the number. It'll choose an event. And once that happens, um, you continue. Uh, the synflow account, correct. You continue the trigger. The, the, the model ID. All right. So the model ID, you could scratch this. This is as a default model ID. What you want to do is you want to go back to Synflow and you want to go and copy this. This is your ID right here. So you will copy this. And it's, if you hover over, it says copy the model ID. And then we go back to Zapier. You put in your model ID and then you continue. And once you do that, it'll test it. And when you do a test trigger, it'll come up. So these are some um, sample phone calls that came in um, that I did earlier today. All right. So once that happens, then you want to go to the action. Now I chose to do Google's Google sheets because it was free. Um, another option you can do is you can do uh, a web hook. So you can basically set up a web hook so that it'll send it over to make, but we can kind of mimic that same thing. If we, we do use the Google sheet. The proper way to do it is to use a webhook because then you'll take all of the fields that you need and you'll pull everything from Synflow over to make. But excuse me, in this case, all we need is the the the, the chat conversation. So I just used the Google Sheet and was able to accomplish the same thing. Um, so you what you would want to do is you want to connect your Google Sheet. And um, if you start a Google Sheet, I created two tabs. So the first tab, I called it call and I just had the lead phone number and then the call transcript. That's the only thing you need to do in order, for, in order for Zapier to work correctly. You need to make sure that, that, um, your Google, your Google sheet has the, the headers because it needs the headers in order to work. And as far as the call analysis, uh, I did the same thing. So the, the phone number, the lead name, their intent category, we'll get into this in a second. I'm jumping ahead. All right, so let's go back to the Google Sheet and then you connect the Google Sheet, right? So you want to say, um, uh, let's see, what did I say here? I said, I said, create sheet, create, uh, create spreadsheet row. So what it'll do is it'll add a row to the sheet, hit continue. And this is the account. The action is, um, that's my Google drive. Then we go to choose a spreadsheet and I have this spreadsheet. And then I chose the call, the call, the call, um, book in, in the uh, spreadsheet. Then the phone number, it's the phone number, the leads phone number that came in. Right. And then also the transcript, you want to add the, the call transcript. So, which is the call transcript. So this will send all of the call data in and it'll send it, it'll send everything over to the spreadsheet. Okay. So once that's done, 
then we jump over to make i really don't like to use zapier but <laughs> we have to use it in this case because simflow uses zapier eventually i'll get off of this and then once they have their integration in place we'll just use make for everything but we have to use zapier in this case so this is the best scenario that i found that we can keep everything at no cost okay okay so then we jump over to make and when we jump over to make then we can begin all right so the first thing we need to do in make is we need to pull information from that google spreadsheet over to make or at least notify uh make about the google spreadsheet all right so let's go to google sheets google sheets and then what you want to do is we want to say watch for new row okay so that's the trigger so we watch it for a new row and we are going to click on the spreadsheet id i already have everything set up if you don't have google set up or google sheets um set up what you want to do is you want to disconnect your google sheet okay um then we're going to click the spreadsheet that we use the simflow contains headers yes the sheet name is call and then i set my limit to one hit okay and that's that so we get a to keep best practices i like to rename the sheet and we're going to call this synflow synflow ai call All right and then let's get some emoji action going on and let's get a phone the bat phone <laughs> the red phone hit okay cool all right all right so let's do this let's 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 create let's do, let's do a call so i'm going to call I'm going to call um, the number and let's we'll see how it works. Okay. So let's go to phone and let me call. Hey, it's a great day at 24 seven closers. How can I serve you today? Hey, how are you? I'm calling because um, I'm a client and I would like to speak to Aaron about um, some issue that I'm have going on. Got it. Can you please provide your name, the title agency you represent and your contact information? This will help me assist you better. Sure. My name is Alex Jones. The title agency is ABC Title Agency. Thanks, Alex. And your contact information? Sure. The contact information is 718-555-4322. Thanks, Alex. How can I assist you with the issue you're experiencing? Right. So we have a notary that's at a closing that's having some issues, but I would like to reach Aaron to notify him about the issue. I understand, Alex. I'll make sure Aaron gets the message about the issue at your closing. Is there any specific detail you'd like me to pass along? Just let them just let them know that the, the notary showed up a little bit late and um, we just want to we, we can't find the notary's contact information. So we need Aaron to contact that notary right away. Got it. I'll make sure Aaron is informed that the notary showed up late and that you need him to contact the notary immediately. Anything else you'd like to add? Oh, no, that's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Alex. I'll pass this along to Aaron right away. If you need anything else, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Thanks. All right. How was that? Was that call amazing? So the AI was able to interact with me. Remember my name. Remember who I was speak speaking about. And remember the topic at hand. And also noted that information. So, um... <clears throat> All right, so we'll be able to look at that in a second, actually, um, because I think I believe I have my other automation working in the background and we'll see it right here. Boom. But so the lead came in, right? The lead came in and the lead once 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 the lead came in from um, Zapier, Zapier sent it to the spreadsheet. All right. So it have the full transcript of, our, of the conversation. All right. Perfect. So now let's go back here. Awesome. So the next thing we want to do is we want to use OpenAI to extract the name 
okay of the person that called all right because what we want to do is we want to extract as much information as we can from that block that i just showed you in the, um, on the google uh, google sheet okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start a completion and so i can cheat a little bit let's go back to my other one here let's just see here all right perfect so let's cut this all right, all right good let's jump back over all right so what you want to do here is you want to add a message and in the message i put um read the below transcript and output the caller's name if no name is provided just put just, just produce na non-applicable and we want that go to the transcript of the, the stress flow so the call transcript is right here boom so it's going to be a user we're going to use the model it's going to be um gpt4 turbo and the max tokens we need is about 200 that should be enough because the only thing we're pulling is a name okay hit okay and then let's do this. Let's just jump here. Let's clone this. Put it here. Let's just uh, rename this, and we're gonna rename it to name. Okay. And let's put a little emoji. Uh, cool, cool name. Perfect. So the next thing we need to do now is we need to we want to get the we want to get the intent of the person that called we want to find out why they were calling so we're going to pull the same thing i'm just going to cheat and pull transcript here all right boom all right so it's this as well and what we want to say is uh <clears throat> based on the based on the below transcript provide a summary of what problem what problems issues desires the call is experiencing what the caller is experiencing if no, no if no objection are provided simply state no key objections also include one sentence also include one sentence and tone of the caller in transcript sorry this is my wife calling i'll be right back back all right so before my wife called <laughs> All right. Um, so what I'm saying is based on the below transcript, provide a summary of what problems, issues, desires the caller is experiencing. If no objections are provided, simply state no key, no key objections. Also include one sentence on the sentiment and tone of the caller. And the transcript is going to be, uh, let's see, call transcript, right? Boom. So we got that here. And uh, it's going to be user. And then this time we want to do it. We want to make it like 500 tokens. Okay. Perfect. And this is going to be intent. We name this to intent. All right. Let's do an emoji and let's do. Let's see what emoji we can do. Hmm. Okay. Let's find out what's going on here. Perfect. All right. So let's copy this again. Let's clone this. All right, so the next thing we need to do is after the intent is we need to categorize this, okay? So let me just cheat again and then pull the, the category here. And like I mentioned earlier, um, as I mentioned earlier, I have different types of calls that come into to for me for me. So I have calls from different types of call for notaries, different types of call for title agencies. So for you, it's going to be a little bit different. So you're going to want to um, tweak this. But um, let's see, I'm going to just change this to um, um, you're going to categorize this, right? So let's see, let's rename this categorize. Uh, come on, chat TV. Come on, make. I'm saying chat TV. Come on, make categorize. So the categories, right? And let's see, emoji. And we are going to do, um, let's see, this is this one. It's cool. <laughs> Perfect. So we get to categorize. And this, let's just erase this and this here. So, 
Um, as I mentioned before, I, I, the, the prompt, I have different types of, of categories. So I said, um, every qual every qual will fall into one of these categories, analyze the transcript and output the one output and I'll put one of the following labels. So I said title agency prospect, title agency, title agency client inquiry, um, notary team inquiry, notary payment inquiry, notary, notary closing table inquiry, notary scheduling inquiry. And I said, for example, if they say that they completed a signing for us, but want to know the status of payment, your output would be notaries payment inquiry completed signing on February 2nd. And I put a, an example here. So in the transcript, um, again, let's just collapse all, and let's say the transcript is going to be call transcript, right? And again, this is 500 tokens. It's perfect. All right. So once we have this information, what we want to do is, uh, we want to, um, do some improvements. Okay. So we want to, um, improve just the flow, just to see if the conversation was good, just to see if the bot was, was, was good as well. So let's do this. Let's uh, clone this again. And we want to ch change this to improvements. So let's say rename and we're going to rename it to improvements and improvements. Um, we got to change this to, let's see. Yeah. Let's analyze the data a little bit keep with the emoji theme so improvement so i'm going to cheat again and i'm going to pull pull the script here all right open that up okay let's change the prompt oops come on all right i just add, add this here all right perfect so we're going to say um, based on the below transcript, briefly provided a suggestion on how either the call or product could be improved. Make the idea brief and a hundred words maximum. Okay. So the transcript again, let's just collapse all, go back to the first one, hit on call transcript. Boom. And it's a hundred words. So we can decrease the tokens to 200. Fine. It should work. Okay. Let's hit okay. Perfect. So once we have this, um, once we have this, what we can do next is we can go back to the Google sheet. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to add a row to the Google sheet. And if we pull the Google sheet here and we, uh, where's the Google sheet? The Google sheet is sent flow, right? And instead of using the sheet, the call sheet, we're going to do the call analysis sheet. Okay. Yes. And let's just move this over to the left. Um, the phone number, let's see, collapse all. So flow to say the phone number is the phone number, the phone number that came in, the lead name is the name. So this is the name that we pulled, right? The name of the person, the intent, um, the results of the intent. Um, we're going to categorize, we're going to categorize the call. So we go to on category, hit the result of that and then improvements. So we're going to go to improvements and we're going to hit the results of that. Boom. Hit okay. Um, I think now is a safe time to run it, <laughs> right? So let's run this and let's see what, let's see what it gives us. Okay. So boom, it pulled it, it pulled the sheet and then it pulled the name next, right? So what was the name? Alex Jones, right? That's the results. Then the intent, what was the intent of the call? So the intent, um, the caller Alex Jones from ABC title is experiencing issues during a lottery <laughs> closing. Okay. <laughs> Specifically the notary arrived late and Alex cannot find the notary's contact information. Alex desires to have Aaron contact contacted to address the issues urgently. So I'll put a sense of urgency here, right? And the sentiment, the caller's sentiment and tone appear to be somewhat stressed given the urgency and need to resolve the issue, but polite and cooperative and communicating the details needed to assist with the problem. So that right there is very powerful, right? So if you away and uh, say one of your clients called because you just left the signing and say you forgot an initial or you forgot to drop off a package or they need a check or something that you missed, right? This will come in. This will get, get, get a temperature check for the person who's calling and provide that to you, which is amazing, right? So now automatically I know Alex Jones is 
somewhat urgent. This is an urgent issue, um, but they will kind of come about it. So at least I know that when I call Alex Jones back, that I kind of know the, the temperament, or at least I know how to approach it. So if the person was angry, I will know how to approach it, right? All right, awesome. Or if you are, if you're on your way to the title office and they're angry, maybe you pick up some flowers <laughs> or you maybe pick up some chocolate or something or something that they, that they like to kind of um, ease the temperament. Okay. Improvements. What improvements can we make? Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Click on here. Um, improvement suggestion. Incorporate a feature that allows the bot to directly connect the client to the relevant person. Aaron in this example. When um, specified rather than just passing messages, this would um, provide immediate support and enhance client satisfaction, especially in urgent cases uh, where um, directed communication is crucial. So that's that's awesome. So so the, so recommended that we have some kind of transfer protocol in place so that way if it's something urgent, the buyer has an option to, to transfer that. And if we stop right here and if we jump back to, to Synflow, there is an option to do that. So, um, and again, this is just, um, I'm just uh, testing this for my business. So what I could do in Synflow is um, when it finally loads, let me refresh the page. What I could do in Synflow is you can add a transfer. So if we go back to prompt, if we go back, if we go back to prompt, there's an option in here that would allow you to, um, add a transfer type on um, protocol so that if you, if you can give the, the bot an option to, to, to transfer the call to you, uh, so it's a little bit slow. So let's, we'll, we'll come back to it. All right. So the next thing is improvements and then it added it to the Google sheet. So let's go to the Google sheet and let's go to the call analysis. So when we go to the call analysis, we see the lead name, we see the intent, the, the, the call category, we see the improvements. All right. So it, it threw it into the Google sheet. I use the Google sheet as an example, but you can use anything that you want. You can put it into like, if you have, um, um, like, um, you could use, uh, you obviously use Google sheet. You can use, um, um, air table, for example, um, you can send it to your email, you can send it to your CRM. And if we jump back to what I was working on for, for my business, um, you'll see after, after, um, I do the Google sheet portion, I then further analyze the data. Okay. And again, I'm going to export this and you will have copies, a copy of this exact export in the community. Okay. Um, but what I, what I did is I, I, then, I and then told open AI to further categorize who, what the caller's intent was or what type of call this was. So that way I can take the appropriate action, right? So if it's a title agency, I want to reach back out to them right away. If it's a prospect, right? Right. So what I do is I, again, I further pull information. I want to know if they left any emails, any, 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 the name of their company or anything that I didn't grab initially. I want to grab that information, like their email and, um, uh, um, the name of the title agency in this example. Right. And then I want to send it to, to Slack. So what I did is I will send it. So I'll have an immediate alert on my phone. And then I'm also sending a follow-up message to the title agency. So then I'll send a message to the title agency saying, um, you know, thanks for reaching out. Um, you know, this is what I do. And then I'll also send it to my CRM Apollo. So I'll send it to Apollo and create a new, create a new uh, customer in Apollo. Or if you have HubSpot, use HubSpot. And I have Apollo and HubSpot. I have both, but um, I use each for different things. And then I'll branch out from there. But I don't want to make this video an hour long. I just want to show you the different options that you have. This is um, customized to me. This is customized to my um, my business. And I'm going to further expand on this. But I just wanted to give you, I just kind of wanted to throw the alley to you. So that way you can continue and take it from here and, and cater it to your business. But you can see how powerful this is. I made the phone call. The, the AI bot did a pretty good job as to extracting information for me, feeling, feeling what my temperament was and able to relay that back to me. So that way I, I, I know, and this is 20 and then the AI bot is available 24 by seven, 365, never calls out, <laughs> right? Never calls out sick. Doesn't need vacation days is always working. And I think that is very good. And then of course you can play with the voices and you can kind of tweak it uh, to your liking, but this is amazing technology. I hope you found value here. Again, 
be sure to save this video, share this video. Um, be sure to um, look at the show notes. I'm going to have some more detailed information there with all the links for all the different um, software components that I use along with the pricing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time. Peace. Hi, baby. I'm in a video. I told you I'm doing a video. You didn't see my text? I'm in the middle of a video. That's such Okay, sorry. I'm in the middle of a video. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Okay, baby. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll grab Harper. All right. Love you too. Love you.